what has happened here basically is the church has you know fallen over a cliff um, its moral authority is completely uh, destroyed respect for the church trust in the church people don't look for guidance to the church anymore um, the number of people who identify as Catholics has dropped by about 20 percent we used to have hundreds of men going into the seminaries every year and I think this year there was something like six something like that um, but the main thing is their, their reputation and their credibility and and their position as moral leaders I mean people can't look to these men for moral leadership when you look at the lack of morality uh, by so many in leadership in the church in the way they have dealt with uh, abusers of children. If the Pope comes here, if he meets survivors who are going to be allowed to put to him very bluntly what they feel the church should be doing and ask him very clearly why he's not doing it, if he comes out and makes a statement of what he is going to do, not hopes to do, is thinking of doing or is in working on, as his letter said. If he comes out and says, I'm going to do this and I'm going to, this is how I'm going to do it, to stop all this, I think that will give people a reason to hold on a little longer. I think if it all just goes through the motions and we get the sort of apologies we've had before, you know, sorry this happened, sorry you were hurt, that sort of thing, um, I think the path is just going to go further and further to um, the church losing all, all believability, all credibility.